Good afternoon, everybody. I hope I'm greeting you in the healthy and safe condition of you, your family, and colleges, wherever you are. I am Sohat Tati. I am a radiation oncologist from Jakarta, Indonesia, and it's an honor for me to be invited to speak here and share our experience during this horrible pandemic. This is the outline of my talk. So we will share the situation of pandemic in our country and dive in more specifically to its impact to radiation oncology and what strategy we have implemented in response. Perhaps you are also already witnessing from your news channel or social media what happened with the COVID pandemic within our countries. That situation seems to keep worsening. Here that many countries have announced at level three warning for the citizen to visit or welcome visitor from Indonesia. This is actually our number. So the total post until right now is 240,000 up and 71.7% 70 of confirmed cases are recovered, 23.6% are active cases, and 3.9% are dead cases. And this is uh, the graph. You can see our graph is still increasing the number of cases. And from the other uh, type of graph, you can see here the green area, the patient are already recovered. The brown area are the patient are still uh, in the hospitalized and the red area are the patient uh, passed away. This is globally. You can see Indonesian is number, number 23rd from the uh, total number of uh, new cases of COVID-19. And, but in Asian country, within Asian countries, uh, Indonesia is number two for new cases as well as for uh, new uh, death cases. And this show you just comparison graph between countries in Asia. Some of countries, uh, the graph is already going down, even already uh, flat, close to zero. But in some countries like India, Philippines, and also included Indonesia, we are still struggling with the first wave of the pandemic COVID and the number of new cases is still increasing. Actually, many effort has been placed to manage uh, the COVID-19 comprehensive uh, management, included the healthcare system, community effort, as well as the law and regulation. You can see here a uh, different type of degree from the president degree to different institutional government degree, the Ministry of Health, Ministry of Transportation, Ministry of Finance, uh, also the Indonesian Doctor Association, and uh, many more. So the PSBB uh, phase, the PSBB is the large scale social uh, restriction, so called in Indonesia, we call it SPSBB. We start the PSBB at the end of March. By June, we move to the transition phase and was supposed to enter the new normal phase. And actually, different protocols, guidelines, and public information has been made available to the public. The principal common only healthy people, only healthy people are allowed to go out. Face uh, shield and mask are always required, keeping a safe distance with others and limit capacity to any space to 50%. However, what happened? Crowded were since anywhere. So of course, you can see here how crowded it is in the new normal when it is activated, compared when the PSBB is uh, active. So we can see here, however, the case start or uh, continue uh, rising. And therefore, we are now back again to the PSBB phase, especially in Jakarta, which is the number of new cases is the highest within the country. Hopefully the case will be much under control again. And how is now you can see uh, the, what happened with the, uh, what is the impact to the radiation mm -hmm. oncology? Actually in the impact of health service, sadly 
one of our uh, biggest loss in the country is the loss of our college. See here, in April, 12 doctors, uh, we lost 12 doctors uh, among us. But in the 13th of September, uh, just several days ago, is already total 115. Most of them are general practitioner, uh, specialist, professor, even professor, and also the training. When we look into our field in radiation oncology department in Chito Mangun Kusumo, there have been seven uh, positive cases among our workers. It, that means 3.4%. And some of them infected, not all from the patient, but some of them come from the public, infected by the public. And also we, you can see here that the number of uh, positive uh, cases within the patient is 1.5 to 2% of cases. So the rate is obviously higher than the overall population, as you can see here in Jakarta, population is 0.4%. And we have the IRIS data of all radiation oncologists. We have uh, seven positive uh, cases. It's so uh, that means 4.2% of uh, radiation oncologists within the countries got already infected by the COVID-19. That's the reason we have a multinational study to access stress level among the health care workers and in our field, radiation oncology. It is a multinational uh, with the leading countries is India, so uh, included Indonesia, Nepal, and also the uh, Bangladesh. However, we cannot delay our patient. So what we do right now is still radiation oncology service throughout Indonesia is still open. This is uh, quite difficult to prevent since uh, we cannot uh, stop our services to cancer patient. We have launched several leaflet and formation uh, distribute to the patient and also some modification of their visit. But overall, we remain open. We also have published our experience in more detail, published in Green Journal, how is the situation of radiotherapy services within the countries in May 2020. Uh, kindly refer to the document if you are interested to learn more about the data. But you can see here that the uh, principle, basically, it is consists of the availability of radiotherapy services during COVID-19 pandemic was essential and should have to be well planned and we need to adjust and uh, there are more reduction in the number of treatment. You can see here uh, some of our radiotherapy center within the countries uh, and you have to decrease the number of EBRT as well as the blood therapy. Now, how is our strategy within the hospital? Our hospital has launched strict zonation for COVID-19 and non-COVID-19 services to limit infection rate in the hospital and to protect more patient and staff. And our society have also launched several guidelines during this hard time. It's included uh, guides uh, on facility management, staffing, as well as uh, also to use appropriate PAP according to the place and activities level. For example, you can see here uh, for the staff management, uh, routine health monitoring included the rapid test as well as the PCR test and shorter shift included 50% when PSBB and more than 60 years old or com with the combined mor bit comorbid disease have to do the work from home. This is uh, how the regular disinfection general cleaning have to be done, appropriate PPE. Even when we do the treating the C19 patients, you can see how the PPE we use in our department. And also uh, included in the guidelines from the uh, IROS about the patient management. We have to screen using the triage, and then we have to use the face shield and mask rapid test and swap uh, PCR 
before the first treatment for all the patients, modified certification for the treatment, telemedicine, and virtual meeting. Here, uh, just a picture to show how we screen the triage, do the triage to screen the patient, as well as the modified waiting room uh, to, uh, pre to provide the distance, uh, uh, physical distancing, and also modified the stratification of the treatment. There is uh, urgent cases and also some of the cases can be postponed, but other cases we prioritize to use the hypofractionation and a more simple technique, the target duration of the treatment is not more than 20 minutes for the patient. Of course, it is not for all the patients. Some of the patients still we have to treat more than 20 minutes. And brachytherapy, we also reduce the number of brachytherapy. And the important things is uh, we uh, use a lot the telemedicine. The, the telemedicine we use not only for the we use for the teleconsultation. This is just a, a diagram how to, we use the teleconsultation with, between the doctor from home and the doctor from the office, the uh, reception desk and the patient. And we do also the telemedicine for the virtual multidiscipline uh, team uh, meeting. And also for the training and education, uh, we also have modified Large meetings are not reduced in capacity with safe distancing in our meeting room and uh, the other and are encouraged to join uh, virtually. We have also to conduct the uh, national board examination this month. It was quite successful as we still have a, a foreign examiner like usual and I think it is the best that we can do in this pandemic to keep continuing the academic uh, process in our field. And the IRAS, our society, have been conducting webinar series almost every two weeks with various topics. And we have uh, many qualified speakers and also international speakers. We will be happy also to have someone from UK uh, please to join us in one of our webinar. And the, the target is not only the radiation oncologists or oncologists uh, from the other discipline, but also for the survivor public. So that's what we can say from Indonesia. Let's keep safe. Still, we have to do tightly, uh, wash our hand, uh, use the mask and physical distancing, how to, do, how to do the communication and how to wear the mask in the right way. Uh, let's keep uh, safe. I hope this will be all over soon and we can meet each other in real life sooner rather than later. Thank you very much.